Here are the top nine places to visit in Northern Cyprus. Be sure to stay until the end because we'll reveal a lesser known attraction many tourists often miss. Number 10, the Kyrenia Castle. This is a 16th century Venetian castle that stands tall and majestic to the east of Kyrenia Harbor. Well, let's just say you really shouldn't visit Northern Cyprus without a stopover to tour this castle, which is still in excellent condition both on the inside and outside. Even more shocking is the fact that its exterior looks like it was constructed only a few years ago rather than thousands of years ago. The good news is that you can explore as much as you want and roam around wherever you like without worrying about restrictions. Also, walking around the exterior walls will give you first-hand views of the city center that's beautifully sprawled below and, of course, the beautiful harbor. Here's an extra tip. You can end your day with sandwiches and Turkish tea at a charming little cafe within the courtyard for a complete experience. Number 9. The Ruins of Belapais Only a few sites around the world are as breathtakingly beautiful even in ruins as the Belapais Monastery, which is located within the village of Belapais. However, you have to travel at least 3 miles toward the southeast of Kyrenia to get to this lovely location. Within the ruins are palm trees that give a lovely contrast with the mountains and coastlines that will surely catch your fancy. Of course, the Belapais Monastery sits about 650 feet above sea level, and this comes with a few advantages. One of these advantages include being able to enjoy fabulous views of the sea that cuts across the surrounding area toward Turkey. Also, the monastery is filled with surprises that will interest you, so be sure to explore the ruins thoroughly for all of it. Number 8. The Alagadi Beach Although sea turtles have existed for more than 200 million years on Earth, only about seven species of these animals are left. Luckily, you can find the loggerhead turtle and green turtle on the coast of northern Cyprus, specifically in Alagadi Beach which is a top sea turtle nesting site in the country. This beach is about 9 miles east of Kyrenia by bus or car, and the fascinating landscape is worth checking out. Apart from the sea turtles, it's so easy to fall in love with the soft golden sand here. Plus, you should know that the best time to get a glimpse of these amazing turtles is between June and October, when you'll see a lot of nests around. Indeed, you will be fascinated by what's waiting for you here. Number 7. The Injerlik Cave For a very small fee, you can explore the famous Injerlik Cave, which is a marvelous spot with lots of stalagmites and stalactites to leave you mesmerized. Although a trip into this cave is not the easiest, it's definitely worth it for the amazing views of the gypsum caves you will find here. At the entrance of the cave is the famous pomegranate tree, and if you have a guide on this tour, they will tell you all about the interesting tale behind this tree. The cave itself has a lovely backstory that you'll love to hear about, so why not come hear about it? Meanwhile, the outcrops of gypsum here look a lot like cauliflowers, and it will take about 15 minutes to take in the breathtaking views of the Injerlik Cave. No doubt, you will have the imageries etched in your memory for long. Number 6. The Salamis Ancient City just north of Famagusta at the base of Karpas Peninsula lies the remains of the city of Salamis, the capital of Cyprus as far back as 1100 BC. Salamis survived the successive occupations of the Assyrians, Egyptians, Persians, and Romans, but eventually succumbed to the forces of nature. A few sites that will impress you here include the Roman Columns, which were once the gymnasium for hosting breathtaking events, the amphitheater that once housed 15,000 spectators, and some headless marble statues which history claims were vandalized during the late Roman period by Christian zealots. Number 5. The Karpaz Peninsula one thing all donkeys have in common is a love for tasty carrots. Luckily, driving around the Karpaz Peninsula will put you right on the path of about a thousand donkeys who share a mutual love for this vegetable. So it won't be a bad idea to familiarize yourself a little with the lovely donkeys that were a not-so-distant occupants of this land. These donkeys were used a lot to work on the land before 1974 but were abandoned after the Turkish forces arrived. Their numbers grew over the years, and now they dominate the peninsula. However, you should be careful while around the donkeys. This is because despite their love for the bag of carrots you'll take with you, they can get quite grumpy. Want to fuel your wanderlust? Subscribe to our channel for travel guides, tips, and inspiration that will take you on a journey around the world. Number 4. The Tomb of St. Mamas 
The tomb of St. Mamas is within the beautifully preserved St. Mamas Monastery and is very significant to the residents of the town of Gazilyurt. Its interior features an enormous chandelier that adds a huge spark to the church and will definitely wow you. Well, the St. Mamas Monastery is no longer in use, but it has been preserved especially because of its main attraction, which is the Tomb of St. Mamas. Interestingly, this tomb has a perforation on its outer walls which allows an oily fluid to flow out occasionally. While no one knows exactly what this mystery liquid is, many people believe that it has healing properties which have prompted visitors from far and wide to come around for the fluid in hopes that it will heal their sick body parts. Perhaps you should try it too and see if it works for you. Number 3. The St. Hilarion Castle In almost every advertisement for Northern Cyprus, there's a huge chance that you'll see pictures of the St. Hilarion Castle included, and it's not hard to see why. This castle hides within the mountains when traveling to northern Cyprus, but then it emerges in a dramatic fashion as you approach the car park. Over the years, the castle has remained intact and preserved its breathtaking structure at every angle. Its location on the mountaintop makes it even more magnificent. It should be surrounded by jaw-dropping views of the Mediterranean coastline when you come to view it. Number 2. The Golden Beach Top of the things to do in northern Cyprus is an afternoon spent sunbathing at the Golden Beach. Of course, this is a Mediterranean island and it would be a huge miss not to visit at least one beach in the country while you're there. Well, this sandy beach is about 1.2 miles long and situated on the Karpaz Peninsula. Usually, the beach doesn't host a lot of visitors, so you're in luck if you're not a fan of huge crowds. Also, no buildings are around to obstruct your views, which means that you can swim peacefully while being surrounded by breathtaking views. Number 1. The Lala Mustafa Pasha Mosque the original name of this mosque was the Cathedral of St. Nicholas, and you will agree that it sounds more than a little strange if you consider that it is a mosque today. Well, it would later be renamed St. Sophia Mosque of Magusa, but this took nothing away from its status as the largest medieval building in Famagusta. The famous building was consecrated as a Catholic cathedral in 1328. However, when the Ottoman Empire captured Famagusta, the cathedral became a mosque in 1571. This was indeed a dramatic switch, but it has remained a mosque to this day. A quick tour of this mosque will give you insight into the amazing architecture, and you'll definitely learn a lot about its history, so you don't want to miss the opportunity. Click here for more places to visit in Europe.